Well, a good rule of thumb has always been that it costs about a dollar a day to run a cow in Oklahoma. Well, as Dave Lawman is here to tell us, those costs have gone up. Dave, uh, what's the deal? Well, they have, you know, expenses uh, all the way around have gone up and certainly in the cow-calf enterprise. And so, yeah, what we thought we'd do is just share some uh, kind of recent calculations. We've gone over some of our enterprise budgets mm -hmm. and uh, it looks like those costs have gone up substantially. Let's start with the enterprise budget. What is this I and mean, what are we going to see here? What are you calculating? Well, we're just basically calculating estimated costs to run a cow and then estimated income you know, based on number of steers and heifers that a cow-calf enterprise would sell, number of cull cows and, and the estimated price for those cull cows, maybe some replacement heifers that didn't breed and so on. Uh, the enterprise budget also includes operating costs, uh, you know, feed and veterinary and all those expenses right. you would expect, interests and so on. So, so a very thorough tool uh -huh. available to the public um, and you can, you can get uh, the enterprise budgets from the Ag Econ website. Right. Or you can also find it on our website at sunup.okstate.edu. Okay. All right, well, let's start at the beginning. And uh, what, what are we seeing here? Well, uh, you know, as you mentioned, for a long time, we told folks that the enterprise budget showed that the average cost of keeping a cow in Oklahoma was about a dollar a day. Mm -hmm. And today, um, we estimate that it's about a dollar 35. Hmm. So it's gone up substantially. Uh, w the budget that we use, that I'll tell you a little bit about, uh, assumes that a rancher would rent most of the pasture that mm -hmm. he uses for his cows. So not a lot of fixed costs from purchased or owned land. Right. Um, we used a typical stocking rate in north central Oklahoma. Uh, rental rate, according to the Ag Econ survey, is about $13 per acre. We're using an average uh, stocking rate of about 10 acres per cow. Okay. That budget shows an overall cost of $492. Oh, wow. So it's gone up. Yeah, substantially. Um, of that budget, uh, $379 is its operating costs and $113 is fixed costs. And of course, if, if we had a substantial amount of owned land, the proportion of fixed costs would be higher. Right. Another interesting uh, part of, of that budget is that uh, about 53% of the uh, budget is due to feed costs. Oh, wow. Which includes pasture, uh, supplemental hay, supplemental protein, and mineral. So a total there of about $260 in feed. Just in feed, wow. Is, in uh, feed. Has that gone up at all or has that stayed pretty, pretty level? No, it's gone up drastically. I'd right. say, you know, when I arrived here in Oklahoma at OSU, we used to think that feed and pasture, 120 to 140 or $50, but now it's 260. So, oh, wow. you know, pressure on pasture land, uh, you know, has, has increased dramatically and, and so, so yeah, that's substantially higher than it used to be. Any uh, tips for producers or things that they can think about if they're going to maybe try to tackle some of those extra costs? You bet, and trying to minimize uh, particularly that, that pasture, supplemental feed, mineral cost, all those things, you know, that's a, an area that I work on every day. That's kind of my, my specialty, and we talk about it on SUNUP occasionally. But overall, yeah, there's, there's two long-term things that we might mention. And then there's two things that I'll mention in general that you can, could work on and have a, a more sudden impact on sure. or more immediate impact on. One is matching cows uh, to the environment from a genetic standpoint. Right. Try to find and develop, maintain low maintenance cows. Right. Uh, uh, secondly, matching the calving seasons to the regional conditions and ranch resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Dr. Selk talks a lot about optimal calving season based on the resources you have. And that's a real key and a, just a, an, an awesome opportunity for people to minimize those costs. Right. Okay, two things that you, have, you could have more immediate impact on, I think we probably don't talk enough about, and that's just grazing management. Right. Really good grazing management with a focus on proper stocking rate just has an incredible impact. You know, if you overgraze, you wind up with thin cows that don't breed back very well, and you have to purchase a lot of supplemental feed, and those, that's expensive input. Uh, the fourth thing is just strategic supplementation. Right. You know, uh, doing your homework every year, not just use tradition, to try to do what you can 
uh, to minimize the amount of purchased and harvested forages and supplemental feed. All right, and uh, those four topics, I think we could go a lot more in depth we with could. those uh, beyond just what we're doing now. And maybe that's something we'll do over the next few weeks here on SUNUP. We'll dig a little bit more into each of those topics, so be sure you tune in to learn a little bit more from Mr. Lawman. Well, thank you very much. Thanks sure appreciate it. Out. You bet. Mm -hmm.